Hello, my name is John. I'm a plumber from Newcastle. First time I've ever done a video, so I feel quite uncomfortable. But watching all these videos that are on your page, it's nice to see that there's quite a lot of people who seem to think the same way. And it's generally people who are quite logical. From the start of this, I've never self-isolated. The way it was brought out in so many bizarre things to do, not to do, none of it made any sense to me. So I was always very cautious. I didn't self-isolate. I went to the shops whenever I wanted. I don't wear a mask now. My problem is I know someone who had it and he was quite ill. So the coronavirus, I'm pretty certain, is a real thing. <clears throat> what isn't though is the figures the death rates the severity the spread of it all of that so what I find is especially you've got America you've got the UK you've got Australia lots of countries every single government apart from the odd few like Sweden China's probably different because they're a nasty country anyway but all these Western countries, apart from Australia, they're all following the same orders. So there's two ways about going about this. You can go, go conspiracy, batshit crazy. But some of that isn't actually too crazy. Someone is making a huge political change for whatever reason. And they're using this for it. And it's kind of working. In America, they've also used the BLM. But that's a total different case. But it's the same way. It's a, it's a lie to create fear and to create division. Which is exactly what's happening here. I won't wear a mask. I mean, for me, I'm a bloke. I'm covered in tattoos. Generally, people don't say anything to us. But... I wouldn't wear one anyway it's 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 another way of control but for the life of us what is the end result what are they gaining from it and that's what i can't get my head around but also the problem is a lot of people are saying how we need to stand together and spread information all of this the problem is that and you'll see it in america especially the powers to be own the military, own the government, own the police. So if the public don't do what they're told, it's very simple to get the military in, to enforce it. Which did happen with the riots. But it's not that simple as well, because I think a lot of people would like to stand up, but the, the, they just haven't got the balls to, really. People, some people, it's not in their nature to be confrontational or they just don't want to do it. But then you've got the other half, the people who believe in it all. That again is mainly though in America because they're not the most intelligent bunch and they've been brainwashed completely. But this whole COVID thing, again, like I said, the virus I think is real, but... The extent of what it is, I don't believe in the slightest bit. I mean, I've been going out with no fear, literally whatsoever. And like I say, I don't wear a mask. But how, what gets me is the way the government acts. They create all these crazy measures and none of it makes any sense. And to me, it's a... I struggle to actually believe what I'm seeing and hearing. To be told to wear a mask at the end of a pandemic, when at the height of it, you could walk around the shops with no mask at all. It, and yet, nearly everyone's wearing a mask. People just don't seem to question it. And that's what worries us. So what is the main agenda without going too conspiracy crazy? Is it a huge political movement or what?
And that is the question. But what I find though, whether anyone else wants to look into it, is when you look back throughout history, throughout ruling empires, it's always a similar thing. You've got the leaders at the very top, the select few, the wealthy, the powerful, who rule the empire. I think what's happened now after the British Empire, they learn from these past empires and the ruling people now are in the position where it's all behind the scenes. They run everything, but no one knows who they are. Well, some people do, but they don't know really what's happening. And that's the problem. They rule everything, I personally think. They rule the government. The government is just puppets, basically. We, the public, we're literally irrelevant. I think that these people who are really in control, they don't feel any emotion whatsoever to the general public. That's why they can quite happily do what they do with no sort of emotion over it or whatever, rationale. It just doesn't bother them. Whereas to the general human being like us who all live a normal life, it doesn't work that way. So what is the end result? When is it going to end? Australia at the minute, curfews, it's just crazy. How could Australia, when the numbers are so low, doing fine, and all of a sudden it's so, so bad that they haven't had curfews? It's just crazy. And it's all to do with this political movement. Which is very, very bizarre. But again, going back to what people are saying, we need to sort of tell people this information. I don't think it would make a difference. I don't think there's enough people who are strong enough and have the guts enough to just do whatever they want to do without really being that bothered about it. I've always been like that my whole life. I'm, I've never been like to be told what to do. But at the same time, I'm intelligent enough, I'm not stupid. If I genuinely thought this was a really serious thing, I would completely abide by it. But it's clear to see. I know one person that's had it. One person. So how much longer do these lies go on for? And it's also... I think a lot of it has to do with... Um, the economical situation, I think they're purposely, purposely trying to get rid of it while we're already in a recession. The amount of money that was paid out, billions and billions, whilst in the pandemic, billions went out to walking schemes and, and peddling, uh, cycling schemes. How was that even slightly relevant in the middle of this supposed deadly pandemic? Billions went out in reparation payments. Billions went out on job seekers. Where does all this money come from? Who profits from this in the in the in the long term? There's lots of questions that I have that I can't find the answers to. And bear in mind, pretty much before this, I didn't believe in any of these conspiracy stupid things. But the more you look into it, the more you find out a lot of it is actually true. The life that we think that we live. Because we're here in such a small, short, small, like short space of time. It's a continuous pattern throughout history that kind of repeats itself. But we don't look at that because we're living now in the moment. But anyway, you might think I'm a bit of a nutter. That's just my thought on it. I'll never wear a mask. Vaccine. If this virus is what they're saying, it's far too complex to even produce a vaccine anytime soon. I mean, HIV, AIDS, been around for how long? No vaccine. If that is one of the supposed agendas where it's to make money for Bill Gates with the vaccines, I'm just not too sure about that one. A lot of people talk about population control as well. I'm not too sure about that one. I'm not too sure what the end goal of this whole thing is. I just know it's all a total load of nonsense compared to what they're actually trying to say it is. But hopefully more people can 
listen to stuff like this, hopefully believe it, hopefully believe everyone else, realise that for elderly people, I think it genuinely is a risk, just like any other virus would be, because the body's feeling themselves already. For a government to shut down the whole country for, for a virus like this, it's not how it works. You quarantine the ill, you don't quarantine the healthy. You quarantine the virus, you quarantine the people who are ill to stop it from spreading. You don't lock everyone in, shut down the economy and basically put the country in a recession. Everything that has been done about this virus, this pandemic, makes no sense at all. But there you go, that's what I think. Thanks for listening, if you do. Bye.